Okay, um, here is my 62 Strat that I played in Gillen that I've had since I think 68 or 69. I um, oh, bought it off a guy in an Irish um, shell band in um, Dublin. And um, basically, I've had it ever since. I played it on just about everything on on all Ian Gillen's stuff, on uh, the Aussie gigs, Atomic Rooster, just everything. Um, I kind of play it only occasionally now because she's an old lady. Um, and she's lived, as you can see. Um, okay, so if I can uh, describe it. Um, the pickups are just standard pickups, and these are mostly originals, and um, I have ha had them um, rewound by Tim Mills at uh, Bare Knuckle. Um, great job. Um, the Tremie is standard Tremie, though the bars I get off um, a company in Folkestone in Kent because all the other bars I seem to get break, including those great expensive American bars whose name I'm not going to mention. Um, so as you can see, the two original knobs a lost knob that's almost old enough to be original now and here fell off and was uh, replaced and it's black now it's just a bit green actually the whole um, thing is the um, neck is basically ebony it's an ebony board it's um, large frets um, and other than that, it's all normal Clusens on here. The uh, Clusens on, on, on the top here, a string tree, only a string tree, only on the top two strings. Because if you have a string tree on the other two, it goes horrendously out of tune. So um, that's about it. It's um, a kind of a fairly narrow neck, the neck, only it's curved. The board is curved. It isn't like. Um, a modern neck, it's a 62 neck, it's the type I like. Um, so after I bought it, it was a tiny bit chunky down here, so I got um, loads of sandpaper <laughs> and um, sanded it down, hoping that I wasn't actually about to um, reveal the truss rod, only it's, you know, it panned out okay, so <laughs> it's... Um, that's it. I never had any respect for it. I mean, I can't understand people who've got uh, 59s and 62s and they look pristine. Man, you play them. I played this. She has lived and died and lived again. So um, it's a beautiful thing. It has her cracks in it here. And the cracks are because of the fact I dropped it at a gig in um, Nuremberg um, in Germany in 1980 or 81 and it it hasn't split it's just a uh, cracks and it isn't a problem so um, yeah the block is um, solid steel I changed it because um, in the process of um, life, I changed uh, the original um, block and and uh, bridge uh, because it fell apart. So um, it's solid steel and it's great. It's like um, the original, and the plate is original. It's an L. And I think that's about it. It's a beautiful thing. The body is older. And it's um, light. And it plays um, like a dream to me still. An awful lot of 
other people find the action too high. Um, I like high actions because, you know, with a high action, I can do kind of that, you know, right across the board. If it's flat and it's a low action, you really can't. Um, so I do this and I do that and I do, mm, you know, I bend. And again, the strings are um, power, I think here are the Ernie Balls, um, 011s. Um, and I can say that they don't give them to me. I have to buy them. Bastards. Um, and, but I like them. So I think that's about it. Yeah. It'll be all out of tune now because I've been with my left hand.